She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Hey there, Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show. And we're on location here at the Cafe Press headquarters, and we're in their break room here, or, or kitchenette. I think that sounds better than break room. It makes you sound more important. It does. Yeah, and we have Leslie here. Hi, Leslie. Hello. She's wearing my organic gelatin uh, t-shirt here. And uh, we also have Rick here wearing my I Love Bacon t-shirt. Do you really love bacon? No one loves bacon more than me, I guarantee it. <laughs> well, it's a lovely sky blue color. It really brings out your complexion. I really love the hat. It's great, but we're here in your kitchen today and we're here in the morning and there's really nothing to eat except things in the vending machine. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to fix some breakfast for everyone here? And I thought, why not do it in a coffee mug? Because we've got a microwave, a toaster, and a toaster oven. And I can show you how to make a quick breakfast sandwich using like, you know, like breakfast muffins and some cheese and some vegetables and some eggs. And my special trailer park microwave egg cooker, which you can get on my store, jolanesugarbaker.com. Now, any coffee mug will work, but you know, it's special if you use a Jolene one. And we've, we've got a couple of, there's one that matches your shirt there. Yeah. And this one says, I keep trying to lose weight, but it keeps finding me. And that's so appropriate. And that's for you too. And we're gonna show you how to make breakfast sandwiches in just under two minutes in a coffee mug. We'll show you up next on my show, Cooking with Jolene, on location at Cafe Press Headquarters in San Mateo, California. We'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make my microwave egg sandwich. You'll need some eggs, butter flavored cooking spray, maybe some ham or some meat or something like that. Or, if you're vegetarian, you can use like onions, green peppers, mushrooms, maybe some cheese, or a ham steak. Or, if you like vegetables, maybe some onions, a green pepper, or any vegetables that you find at the salad bar already chopped up. Or in your coworker's lunch bag. <laughs> some biscuits or some English muffins, some sauces like mayonnaise or mustard, whatever you like, some spices like garlic powder, minced onion, Montreal steak seasoning, and salt and pepper, which we took out of the break room. That's enough. It's enough. Here's how you put it together. You know, Leslie and Rick, making the sandwiches are really simple and all you really need to do is have a coffee mug. Look, that one matches your shirt and we'll give you that one there. And what we'll need to do is we each need to have one egg here. There we go. Rick, that's a big sandwich there. There we go, have an egg there. And we're gonna crack our egg here into the cup. 
There we go. Don't get the shell in there. If you did, you can use the shell thing here and just like get it out there. All right, we have put the egg in the cup here. Now, you can make your uh, sandwich with anything. You could use some vegetables, some ham, some spices. I like a little Montreal steak seasoning in mine. Just a little sprinkle, teaspoon. Maybe some uh, garlic powder here. Well, helps if it's opened, you know? <laughs> I thought the intern was supposed to do that for us. You know, it's so hard to find Let's good see. It's here. Here we go. I can't even do it with press on nails today. There we go. All right. What you cutting up? You're going to put green pepper in yours? I feel like I need some vitamin C. What you going to put in yours? I'm thinking that I'm probably going to put some ham and some cheese in mine. Some ham and cheese? Well, why don't you bust that open? Now, Please do. Now, remember when you're doing this that you have to do it little teeny tiny bite sized pieces and make sure the ham is already cooked with that. I'm just going to put a dash of the garlic powder in there. There we go, and maybe just just a little few sprinkles of the minced onions. There we go. You want ham in yours too? Uh, I'll take a few little slices of the ham in mine, and I like cheese. Let's do a ham and cheese in mine. Okay. What are you doing, green peppers in yours? I'm doing a Denver. There we go. You're going all out? Mm -hmm. There going we go. I'm just going to put a, just a little bit of cheese in there. Follow the example of an expert here. A Denver. That's from Denver, Colorado, I think. Isn't it? I think so. Isn't it? All right. Put some garlic powder in yours. Yeah, I don't need to sit too there close to today. All right. Now, we have the English muffins here today, and we're just going to open those up here. And we're going to pop those into the toaster over here. One, two. How's yours coming along there? It's working out all right. Is that good? Yeah. Should you whip the egg before you put in the stuff? Well, you're just going to mix it all together. It doesn't matter. It just whips up all apart. There we go. We're going to put that in the there. Very good piece sizes there. Yeah. Now, if you want, you could add the mushrooms. You could add a little bit of cheese. It just Odd. depends. Just a little bit there. And... We have taken this from one of your co-workers' desk. This is fun. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So um, let's go ahead and just add a few bit of the ham chips in there. Oops, as I drop it on the floor. Intern. Intern. <laughs> Intern. And some green peppers and maybe some onions there. There we go. There you go. What are you going to add in yours? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whip first. Rip, gonna you're going to whip? You're going to whip first. You just want to use the toy. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. I do. Well, it makes a much more fun noise when it's not immersed in an egg yolk, mm. but it's doing a good job of mixing it. Yeah. Now, you need to make sure you use a microwave-safe mug because uh, the ones in my store are microwave-safe and uh, they can be used in the microwave. We're not going to be microwaving them too long, so that's okay. Anybody else want to play with the... I'm going to play with that. Mix that around. It's a handy desk toy. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> did I did I get you with the the yolk? Sorry about that. Oh, so oh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, are you okay? I'm trying to avoid there tomatoes. There, they they say out. egg is good for the hair and skin. They do say that. There we go. I don't know about the garlic powder. Uh, you know. There we go. All right. There we go. Mix that all around. Oh, cheese. Did you add the cheese there? Oh, you can't yeah. forget your cheese. I can't. That was instrumental. Although I've... The trick is turning it off before you take it out, oh. I think, Rick. <laughs> that could be There we go. Mix all that right. all around there. Give it a shot. All right. All right. There we go. It's mixed all around. It is. Okay. Now, depending on your microwave, it's going to take about one to two minutes. And most microwaves now are set to lethal. So it's probably going to be about a minute or a half uh, with that. So we're just going to experiment in the microwave. We're just going to pop it in there and we're just going to punch 140 and start. What's going to happen, Leslie and Rick, is it's going to puff up to the top just like that. 
and uh, eggs need to be cooked very well done because we all know that they have, I think it's salmonella yes. or sa salmonella. So we need to make sure that they're cooked well. We don't need any of that. Um, not None of that, we okay. can't make your co-workers sick. No workers come for salmonella. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> Only the ones that we have a problem with. Now, <laughs> we have toasted the muffin here and I like a little bit of Duke's mayonnaise on mine. We're gonna put that to make it even more sinful with that. And it's made out of eggs. So, and it's made out of eggs. Can you help me with that? I might bust a press on nail here. I use the, the heavy Oh, well that water. works. There we go. We're gonna spread out a little bit of the Duke's mayonnaise there on the muffin. While you do that, I will pop in another muffin here. Yeah, so we can all have our muffins. Wow, yeah. that's I'm gonna pop that some mayonnaise. The other oh, we have tons of microwaves here at the Cafe Press headquarters. Now, just a few moments here, we'll have our own breakfast sandwich in just a few moments. I cannot wait. I haven't eaten in over 15 minutes. I am starving to death. <laughs> 15 minutes. 15 minutes. That's a long time. Now, you probably could chop up some bacon too, Rick, and put this in there. Yeah. I mean, the ham is just as good, but probably some bacon too bacon would work. Is, bacon is better than some anything. Some bacon. Anything. Okay. We have. And you can make bacon in the microwave and then chop. Now, it seems to me that your microwave has been put through the test with some popcorn lately, so we're going to make sure that it's probably about <laughs> two minutes. On there. That's a, a common afternoon snack around here. Popcorn. Yeah. Yep. So about two minutes is all that it takes in the coffee mug. I mean, that's so simple to clean, and you could just uh, wipe it clean and just use it for coffee right next. Yeah. <laughs> we have no shortage of mugs. No shortage of uh, mugs. Wow. Okay. That smells delicious. So just two minutes and we shake it all around there. Oh. Well. <laughs> that's not what you're supposed to do. It's an option, that's but not, not, not what you're supposed to do. What, what well, this is really gonna do is this cooking. Mine's cooking. I don't know. We're gonna make. We're gonna take a look at yours, Leslie, here, and make sure that yours is well done. And that's why you should make so. Okay, also when you're using the microwave mug, um, if you don't mind, uh, the butter flavored spray, it comes out really simple if you spray the mug, just like that. We have sprayed ours prior to microwaving it, so uh, we have got yours out of the oven and it puffed up, didn't it? It did. It like did. Almost like a third of the way up the mug. It just puffed up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to dump it out onto the Muffin. There we go. Oh, wow. There we go. It's like a souffle. And it just comes right on out of the mug, just like that. And we can put it just up on top like that. And um, and mayonnaise really makes it too. And look at that. You have your own breakfast sandwich there. And um, who wants to be the taste tester? It's really high. Of course, oh, of course Ricky. I'm the yeah. official tester. Let's see. Mm. Is that good? That it's good. good. Luckily, it's we really cooked good. it all the way through, too. There we go. That's, but, that's great. And see, you too can make your own uh, breakfast sandwich in just a coffee mug. Look at that. In just two minutes in the microwave, and you can make your whole office a, a really great breakfast tray. So, isn't that great, Leslie? That great. That's great. And who, who would have thought that you don't have to go out to the fast food places? You can do it right here in a mug. Well, that is great. I'm so glad to have shown that to you, Leslie and Rick. Thank you very much. Yeah. And I'm so glad to have uh, actually shown you all at home how to do that, too. Tune in next time where I show you how to do it the Trailer Park way. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker with Leslie and Rick at the Cafe Press headquarters in San Mateo, California. I'll be back real soon. I love you. Bye-bye.
shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride Bye, in the double wide. Visit my store at JoleneSugarBaker.com.